Well guys, time for the final episode. In more ways than one. Created by Butch Hartman, Danny Phantom ran from 2004 to 2007 following a teenage boy named Danny Fenton whose parents hunt ghosts. They created a portal to a ghost zone, but one day Danny was messing around inside and gets supernatural powers, becoming half boy, half ghost. Now, armed with new powers, he protects the town from the residents of the ghost zone along with his friends Tucker and Sam, while still trying to have a normal teenage life and keep his powers a secret from his parents. This show is great. I love the characters, it's creative, and it does have some dramatic heft to it. Most people seem to really like the first two seasons, but then we get to season three. Stuff happened. One, writer Steve Marmel, who wrote some of the best episodes, either was fired or quit. It's not 100% clear. Then the season was cut from 20 episodes to 13, and given that this was supposed to be the last season, that means a lot of things had to be wrapped up pretty quickly. Honestly, despite its reputation, I like most of the episodes in season 3. There aren't many great ones, but I think they still work pretty well. But then we get to the finale, Phantom Planet. I don't think I've ever heard so much negative reception for a Nick finale. While it has a decent rating on IMDb, I don't hear many people say good things about this episode. But is it that bad? Did one of the best Nicktoons of all time really have one of the worst finales of all time? Well, let's see. This episode is 44 minutes long, so let's not waste any more time. This is Phantom Planet.